Hey guys, in this video, we are going to discuss that in Microsoft Excel, how we can create such an amazing and dynamic calendar that whenever we change year or month, the calendar gets updated automatically. So let's get started. To create a calendar, first of all, we create a blank sheet. In this blank sheet, we need to select these seven columns and we need to adjust width of these seven columns. What I will do, I will select these seven columns. I will go to the home tab. I will go to the format. I will select column width and I will change column width into six. I will go for OK. After I change width of these seven columns, I will select four cells. I will merge. I will drag it down to merge these cells at the bottom also. I will write here month. At the bottom, I will write year. I can fill these cells maybe in any color maybe let's say I will fill in green color you can uh, use any color whatever you want then next three cells I will select I will merge I will drag to merge the bottom cells as well now in front of month we need to add month in front of year we need to add year you can even add manually or you can create or you can add drop down list let's say for month we want to add drop down list what simply we need to do we need to add the month names January, February, then what I will do, I will simply select these two cells, I will drag it down and I will add months till December. Now to add drop down in this cell, I will simply select the cell, I will go to data tab, I will go to the data validation, in data validation window, I will select list from this drop down, in source, I will click and then I will select this full list of months. I will go for OK and you will see here we have drop down list of the months. Now to add drop down list for years, let's say we want to add drop down list from 2000 to 2025. What simply we need to do, we need to add here this of years from 2000 to 2025. I will add and I will drag it down to create the list, list of years from 2000 to 2025. I will select the cell in which I want to add drop down for years. I will go to the data tab, data validation, in data validation window, simply in drop down list, I will select list. I will click in source and simply I will select this full list of years. I will go for okay. And now I can see I have here drop down list of the years as well. I can fill these cells I can go to the home tab and let's say I want to fill maybe in this blue color. Now we need to keep one row as it is. The next row we need to select. Then we need to maybe fill in blank color. I will choose the font color white and then I will add here day names. I can start from Sunday, then Monday and then I will simply select and I will drag to the right to add day names from Sunday till Saturday. I can make it center. Now in the bottom, I need to select six rows and seven columns. I have been selected six rows. I will go on tab. I will fill maybe in any color I want to fill. I will be filling maybe gray color. Then I will add border. I will go to the border. I will add maybe more border. I will select maybe white color. And then I will add white color border in this area. I will go for OK. And now you can see I have a white color border. Similarly, I can add here white color border. I will select these cells. I can go to the mode border. I can select color white and then I can select all these borders and I can go for OK. And now you can see I have here border as well. I will select these cells. I will make it center. Now here we need to add a formula to bring here a date equal sign date value. We are using date value function to change date into value form. What I will do, I will insert one as date and in place of month, I will select the cell in which I have month, then and sign, then again in place of year, I will select the cell in which I have year, close parenthesis, enter. Now we have this date, but in value format. Now what we need to do in first cell, we need to add a function sequence. Sequence open parenthesis, because we have here six rows, we will add six in place of rows, then comma, Next argument is column because here we have seven columns. I will add here seven, then comma. Now, starting value, I will select this date that we brought with date value function, then minus big day. 
open parenthesis, this cell again, comma 1, bracket close, plus 1, then again bracket or parenthesis close, enter. Now I have here dates, but I need to change format of these dates. I will select, I will use shortcut key control 1 to open format cells window. I will go to the number tab. I will go to custom. From here, from general, I will change into DD, that is for date. Go for OK and here we have dates now. Now, again, we need to go to the home tab. We need to go conditional formatting, new rule. We need to come to the last option. Here we need to add a formula equal sign, month function, open parenthesis. We need to select the first cell in this range. We need to use F4 to remove the absolute reference, then close parenthesis, not equal to sign, month function, open parenthesis, and we need to select this cell in which we used this function date value close parenthesis now we need to go to the format in format what we will do we will simply go to the custom format we will change general into we will insert here semicolon three times we will go for okay we will go for okay again here to hide this date what we will do we will select the cell again we will use shortcut key control one we will go to the custom change general into three times semicolon we will go for okay and now our dynamic calendar is ready. Now let's test it. Let's say I will choose maybe month of November. Maybe I will select year 2024. And you can see whenever I change year or month, you can see that the calendar is updated automatically. So friends, that's all for today. I hope you like this video. I hope you learned something from this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to give thumbs up. Don't forget to share this knowledge with, you, with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Bye-bye.